So biologically, women have been given the power of sexual selection. Men have to work very, very hard to be attractive enough to be chosen for sex. Women can just exist and get chosen for sex. This is a fact of life. So since women are easily chosen for sex by default, and men have to work very hard to be a sexual option, sexual selection as a power choice lies in the hands of the woman. My question now is, do women really need men to make choices for them? Check this out. Hey, I got a story. Post it for me. I read a few stories that you posted that I can relate to. My daughter stopped by my house this morning to ask if her and her husband could borrow $650 till payday. I told her no, because if I give it to them, they'll come running to me every time they get in a bind. I told her that he needs to make it happen. My wife, her mother, thought I was wrong for telling them no. He's a 30-year-old man that needs to learn how to take care of my daughter. I told her if he can't take care of her, she can come back home. I don't like that they live paycheck to paycheck. I'm sure if it was your daughter, you would feel the same. So they go to ask her daddy for $650 and they live in paycheck to paycheck. Now, clearly, there are no kids involved. It's just two coupled adult people. What are they doing with the money? Because as two adult working people, you should not be living paycheck to paycheck, especially if you got a man who professes to be the head of the household and the leader of the family. He don't have no financial planning skills to strategically save money and put you guys in a more suitable position no the default is for that man to be comfortable enough to let you go ask your parents to borrow some money and the girl don't have no discernment at all it's all based on feelings and emotions no logic and rationale i'm gonna say that city girls ain't never been up. City girls keep taking L's and they swear that they do nothing wrong, that it's all the men. But I see a lot of things that women do wrong. And the moment that you start pointing it out, that narcissistic behavioral pattern that they swear only belongs to men starts to show its ugly head.